It's cooking time. Hey, Bomb Squad, and welcome to Digibombs Versus, where it's me against the world, or whatever I'm up against at the time. And in this case, it's making a Master Chef, where this week we're going to be tackling mashed potatoes. I know it's not a pie, like I said, but due to time constraints, this is literally all I have in my kitchen. So, then we're going to go with this. Next will be the pie. So, there's still time to get in your boats for uh, what pie I should make. So, because I haven't got, been able to get any ingredients. So, definitely send in those boats. Comment down below what I should do. And uh, maybe you'll see yours next week. Otherwise, I'll always have other weeks to do that. But for the time being, we're going to be doing mashed potatoes. So, uh, we got our potatoes, our butter, and our salt and pepper. We're gonna need lots of pepper. Please the fiance, so uh, make sure I gotta do extra of that. But the slight different here is we're gonna be doing milk and some whipping cream because we're gonna be beating them after they're all uh, you know peeled and put in the boiling water to get them all squishy. And we we'll just mash them. And then we're gonna we're gonna beat them until they get their their light and fluffy because. It, it won't be as dense, especially if you ever reheat them. They, they're better that way. And they'll hold all your gravy. Mm. I don't have gravy though, so we're just gonna just go with basic mashed, mashed potatoes. Uh, I wish I could make gravy. Mm, that'd be good. Well, pro probably not if I made it, but there's next year. We'll get there eventually. Uh, once I get to sauces and stuff. But for the time being, we will be doing this. Mashed potato dish, the best I possibly can because I've never made them before. Uh, this is one of my dad's recipes, so we will see how it turns out, and uh, I'll see you in the kitchen.
like we ended up making it. Uh, we got with me the guest taster, Kristen Foley, my fiance, as usual. Um, if you can tell, you probably can't because it's a little further away and my camera sucks, but I managed to put the pepper in. You can see. We'll see about that. I put a lot. And so much so that I was at first worried and then filled with joy that I think I finally hit the pepper content right. So we shall see. But I, I uh, didn't have as many potatoes as I wanted, so it, it got a little more soupier than I wanted when I put the milk in. But so I, um, I just kept whipping it, hoping it would get more floofy. But uh, I, th I think, I think it'll still be good. So we shall see. I'm gonna let her try it first. Visually, I know. it looks like a blob. Yeah. Not a nice fluffy pile of scoop potato, but it looks right. You can put stuff on top of it. No pepper. Did it. Which also helps is if you heat your cream and your milk beforehand and then slowly add it in, you probably wouldn't have needed as much liquid. But otherwise, I mean, you have plenty of pepper, plenty of salt. That's one of the main things is mashed potatoes that a lot of people don't do is add a lot of salt and pepper to them for You see what I'm dealing with? This is a, a, an absurd amount of pepper. I made it blatantly obvious. This was not real, a real episode. This was a prank episode on her. I was gonna get that pepper more than enough. And she's like, oh, that's right. That's, that's, that's just the amount of pepper and I'm dying here. I think you did a good <laughs> job for first time making mashed potatoes. I'm <coughs> There's so much pepper. I don't know what you're talking about. I think it's perfect. <laughs> I'm living with a psychopath. <coughs> <clears throat> it tastes good. I actually, I like it. But, um... Ugh! It's like a peppery ninja's just speed bag in my uvula. In the back of my throat with all this pepper. But the flavor is good. Uh, I was also worried when I put a full stick of butter in here. Yeah, I mean, it's buttery, but, that buttery flavor, but yeah, you can- It tastes good, oh, is it good? You could cut down on the- Oh, the pepper the, content? You can cut down on the liquid to make them less, to make them more of a fluffy Yeah, mouthfeel. it was it was fluffy until I added the regular milk. Maybe I should've just kept with the, uh, it stayed. And if I did the deep two challenge, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close enough. <clears throat> Can't even talk. It's so good to know that her taste buds are just ruined with all these years of cooking. Mine are just prime, pure, so pure that I am about to die. So we're, I'm gonna let her finish this dish, and I, I, I don't want to salvage this one for me. But <clears throat> my my throat's closing up. I need to end this. So don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Uh, so you know when the next video goes up because next week's as I said might be a little early or just right classic Monday So uh, hit that bell notification and it'll let you know either way. So no no worries there But uh, also if I do the pie next week, you're gonna want to keep uh, Commenting your your votes in 
uh, or head over to the Facebook page and do it there. So far, the, the front runner is pumpkin pie, but it could change to an apple, to a uh, an orange meringue. That's my, that's my vote. So keep your votes coming in, and uh, we shall see if uh, if I end up doing the pie next week, what it will be. So stay tuned, and uh, we'll catch you next time.